Dearest Jared and guest, thank you so much for keeping me pleasantly distracted these past few years. You recently called out for more screenshots, and I'm here to deliver. Hopefully, it's not overboard, but I picked out three short text threads from three separate guys who hit me up months after they ghosted slash rejected me. Is it wrong that, one, I don't accept their excuses, and two, I want to be a little mean about it? As background, I'm a 32-year-old doctor, moved to a major university college town last year for fellowship. I turned to the apps to find people to go out with since the social scene was dismal thanks to COVID. Plus, I wanted a boy toy, i.e. a guy I can regularly invite over slash go out with whenever my schedule allows. Well, I'll start. I don't mean to like rain on the parade here, but you're looking for a boy toy and then it's, I want to invite them over to go out with whenever my schedule allows. So like, it's a little, that's that's more relationship than boy toy. Okay. It's to, you know, to a lot of guys out there. I understand what she's saying. No, but, to me, I took it as like, she just wants a fuck buddy. But I'm saying a fuck buddy might disappear on you. I'm saying yeah. like a fuck buddy to you and fuck buddy to me might have two different definitions. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, her saying... Yeah, I just want someone to show up anytime I my schedule allows. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, maybe his schedule won't allow, but but let's keep going. Unfortunately, yeah. the number of attractive, educated women far outweighs the number of mediocre, educated men. So guys become accustomed to treating women who are way out of their league like shit because of this glut. Again, that is a lot of commentary on this and I, listen I don't disagree hey, I'm, with I'm her I'm on board I'm, with everything she's saying right now I'm, I'm, I'm 100% sure. with this listen this may be right but this is when taking it personal that you hooked up with a guy that you thought was below you you know got she's the best of you she's a fucking doctor of course they're below her are you insane she's, what are these fucking schmucks that work at fucking wild wing these are fucking losers the I agree with you fucking dick. she's fucking I, doing surgeries I agree with you but if you convince yourself into buffalo wild wings guy you gotta <laughs> You kind of have to live with Buffalo Wild. Okay, so here are three different scenarios where guys reached out to me after the college girls left. The first guy, after the college, oh, so I guess in the college town, she's saying oh, well, they, they reach yeah, out. Yeah, so yeah. school ends, these guys reemerge. Yeah, That's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. The first guy is a 26-year-old who works at Google. Okay. Our mm -hmm. first date, that's not Buffalo Wild Wings. Our first date in October lasted hours and he spent most of the time telling me he telling me help he just got promoted. Lasted help. hours and he spent most of the time telling me help he just got promoted and making so much money for doing so little work. I thought, yes, perfect boy toy material. It lasted for a couple weeks and then he stopped responding to my texts. So I did the nice to meet you and he eventually excused himself saying he was leaving town to deal with family stuff. I saw him on Bumble in January and called him out, which I regret because it could be construed as quote unquote crazy, but whatever. Then uh, this may this may he reached out as if he's on some apology tour and it was very confusing. So I'll be him, you be her. You ready? Mm -hmm. Apologies on the delay. The past couple of days has been pretty hectic. I'm actually heading out sooner than expected and I'm not 100% sure when I'm coming back yet. I assume so. You still down to hang out Tuesday? Never mind. Don't worry about it. Nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you too. I'm sorry this is a bad time with everything going on. It was nice meeting you too. I'm sorry this is a bad time with everything going on. Yeah. Uh, have a good time with your fam. Hit me up when you're down to clown again. Oh, no, I missed your call. Did you mean to call? Ouch. Back in town, I see, with a screenshot of him on, on him <laughs> Bumble. Um, hey, and then he reaches back out in May. So that was from... That was January. 23rd. That was January that she called him out with the screenshot. Then May, hey, I know it's been a while. I just wanted to reach out and let you know I was dealing with a ton of anxiety earlier this year and everything being up in the air life-wise. <laughs> sorry, this is so funny. Hey there, so sorry. Who is this? <laughs> I feel bad. And then he, he keeps going. He pushes through. I feel bad for how it may have came off and wanted to apologize. It's blank. We hung out a few times earlier this year. Hope everything is well. Oh. Smiley face. Oh, yeah. That wasn't cool. Glad you're apologizing. Anxiety is pretty new to me and didn't really, really know how to deal with it. Not an excuse, but just wanted to let you know that it was a personal problem and I should have dealt with it better. Apologies again. How are you doing now? 
I'm much better anxiety wise. Haven't had a panic attack in a hot minute, but I'm still kind of up in the air in terms of moving and everything They're They've given pretty poor guidance at work. Thanks for asking. How have you been? So you're having job changes. It's been a tough year working my ass off. We'll get better in the summer though. Yeah, they may or may uh, not let us transfer locations while staying in the same role. They're announcing more details in June. And you could say that again. I can't, you could say that again. You can say funny, that again. You could say that. <laughs> I, I can't imagine how tough it is, it's been. I like the optimism. I think everything will hopefully start to normalize soon. The kind of stress, uh, life-changing experience and rigor, rigor of what you do is something I can't imagine most people being able to handle. Okay, so what do we think? She gives two more scenarios. Well, let's start with this one. What do you think of this scenario? Uh, I don't think she's in the wrong at all. I would have unmatched the man. I would have taken his number off my phone. I would have done the exact same thing. Also, she, I think she could have been, I mean, it's very nice he apologized. Do I believe him? Not not, not, not exactly. Probably not. I, I, I don't trust any men anymore because I've been fucked so many fucking times that this is these are all red flags I've seen before. Mm. Uh, I think she had every right to behave in this way. It's fucked up to be you know, talking to someone nonstop and then, and then a three month, four month delay, five month delay, like buddy guys need to start fucking just being honest. If you don't want to see somebody like I had a date maybe two months ago. It mm. wasn't good, but it wasn't a very good date. I get home. Nothing happens. Next day he sends me a text. Hey, I didn't really feel a connection, but I wanted you to know that it was nice meeting you. Thanks for coming out. Sure. This needs to happen more on both but sides. That's, a, that's the power of sides. breakups. Breakups, it needs that. Well, but this isn't even breakup. Like, it's just to avoid ghosting in general, to make somebody feel like a fucking human being. Hey, but sorry. Even, but even avoiding calling it a breakup is the problem. Like, yeah. I, 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 and I don't mean to disagree with you. I'm just, my, my point there is like, he, he's, you're breaking up with each other. I'm not, there's no, the, it, no one's wrong in that. No one should be hurt. It's, it's, no. it's, hey, we are breaking up. Like, to, it's okay to call it that. I think that's the problem. And let me kind of, to the emailer, here's my problem with her. She, he gets in this whole apology. She calls him out. Fine. You're going to call someone out. I get it. Um, he comes in with the apology tour in May. She asks, how are you doing now? Like, you don't have to do that. You no, can sure, end it yeah. there. Yeah. So so I'm saying if you're going to offer retribution, you have to offer it fully. Mm -hmm. If you're going to offer retribution while still being annoyed at someone, why are you playing this game? Why are you wasting your own time? I understand. We, you know, And she's saying, I'm looking for a boy toy. Oh, he's a perfect boy toy. And it's like, you have to understand you're swimming in the shark infested waters where your version of boy toy not, might not match their version of boy toy. When you say, mm -hmm. you know, like let's, you know, it starts as, um, you know, like I assumed you're still down to hang out today. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Nice meeting you. Like y even to say nice meeting you, you should dump them then if you feel left unfulfilled by them mm -hmm. when you say in, in the beginning i assumed you still down to hang out today then she has to do never mind nice meeting you he's gonna always be just nice enough because to him casual is different than to you and that's okay but she should have ended it there she should instead of never mind no, 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 don't worry about it hey i've actually rethought things this isn't the situation i'm looking for it was a pleasure to meet you i'm gonna end it with you that that's mm -hmm. the way to go and then um, what i would do is block i block the number so you never have you to block. see or hear if this person can your life yeah but right now she's playing this kind of game with herself and she thinks she's mm -hmm. playing with him but he's not even playing the game he's sitting there friendly freddy hey how you been just wanted to apologize. I'm dealing with anxiety. You know, yeah. it's like, let's go to the next one. This next guy, I mean, we're going down like memory lane with this girl. This next guy is a 28-year-old B school student who was super into me. I think it was mostly because he got off of the fact that I was a doctor. Okay, mm -hmm. good. The conversation and sex were decent, but he stressed out about everything, which led to, to muscle tension. After we finally had sex, he whined about his aches, muscles like an old man, and then later wrote me this long message at which I rolled my eyes because he made it seem like I wanted a relationship, which I never conveyed, as I was always trying to give off the impression that I just wanted to go out and hook up. Mm -hmm. So when he reached out to me two months later, I just ignored it. Fair? So I'll be him. You ready? Okay. I've been trying to get my body in order the last few days and it's just not responding. <laughs> that and my depression flaring up as well as may, may make me think I just need to focus on myself right now and that the timing for us isn't great. I feel bad about it, but I think you are great and deserve someone who is properly invested in a relationship which I am not capable of right now. Ah, uh, George, don't get... Oh, sorry, it's his name. Ah, <laughs> uh, blank, don't get down on yourself. It's all good. Hugs. 
And then he reaches out months later. Hey, how you been the last month? <laughs> okay. What do you, I mean, this is all fair. I think it sucks that like you have sex and then he's like, oh, my aching body. Yeah, like, that's that shitty. seems, that seems stupid. I mean, I, I also, she clearly doesn't want a relationship. I don't know what, <laughs> at no point does she say she wants a relationship. Well, I think, I think the, the other thing of like, here's my feedback to that is like, if you don't want to, he doesn't want your level of relationship. He's saying relationship, but like, I think we also have to admit to even your version of casual, he is turning down. Is yeah, he yeah, saying, yeah, I yeah. can't do that. So I understand it, but I also think it's shitty to be like, ah, oh, my elbow, my tennis elbow's yeah, acting you, up. <laughs> you don't need to just, just be like, here's the thing. You can just say something so easy. Hey, it's not working for me right now. Like w- women can take it. We have yeah. tough fucking skin. Just be like, hey, sorry, this is not what I had in mind. Uh, good luck out there. Like, that's it. You don't have to make this whole fucking rigmarole, uh, yeah. depression. No <laughs> one cares. Shut up. It's okay. We don't know each other enough to care. Yeah, we've fucked so let's, once. Let's do the last one. Uh, 24-year-old grad student who messaged flirting with me nonstop for weeks. He was super attractive but didn't have much depth, so I took him back to mine after our first date. We had an excellent makeout session, but then I never heard from him until months later. I thought he went about this the most disrespectfully, so I snapped back with some snark. Not my best look, but I don't regret it. Okay, so I'll be him. Ready? Mm-hmm. Hey, Gretchen, it's Jamie. I was wondering if I could schedule a physical. A f- oh, that's crazy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. The fucking balls oh, on this hey, fucking This man. guy. <laughs> huh. Hi there. Jamie who? Remind me how we know each other. Nice. I like that. I'm sure you remember me. We met. We went on that one hinge date. Then I fell off the face of the earth. Yeah. What's up with that? Long story short, school got very intense for a while, but the semester just ended. Ah, spring break. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. I hate this man. Interesting. I assumed you were reaching out because of all the all the undergrad girls are gone. Would it make a difference to you? Smirky face emoji. And then she doesn't answer. He writes, I guess it would. Awkward face. Not really. You're boring. (laughs) And then he writes, ouch. Yeah. And she writes, is it wrong that I absolutely do not accept any excuses regarding school? No. uh, Busy schedule slash stress. I am a fucking doctor and bust my ass 60 to 100 hours a week and can make time for others. Is it fair that I poo-poo guys' excuses when they claim they were too busy slash stressed with their soft science grad school or easy tech job? I know the solution for this is to find guys off the apps who aren't deluded by this paradox of choice. Anyways, I appreciate you. Thank you for your hilarity. What do you think? I think she I think she needs to go for older men. First of all, these children yeah. are stupid and it's not it's not working out. They seem dumb. Young guys are stupid. They all like they're not going to give you what you want, especially you seem like a very mature person. I think it's a fucking waste of your time. Get off the apps or find somebody older cuz this these guys I, are fucking stupid. I do not I I can do I condone everything she does though. All this shit, I am like I want to send her some of my screenshots. Like I I have been way way fucking worse to guys. Like <laughs> horrifically I, mean. You could say whatever you want. I, I like listen. I have. I think not really. You're boring. That's fine. I just like you have to admit that you're wasting your own time. I think the biggest problem she has, and and she's emailing in. That's why I'm even giving her this response. She can do whatever she wants. I agree with her. You can't set the bar low and then get mad at people that they can't get over your low bar. Mm-hmm. You you're gonna if you set a bar low, you're gonna get low dudes. Mm. And this guy who writes, I'm ready for my physical, you know, that's because you were like he was boring and he's younger and he, you know, he's in school and you think low of him. Mm-hmm. So of course he's gonna come in with I'm ready for my physical. Uh yo, would it matter to you that the guy like she even writes with a winky face, you know, all the other gra- undergrads are gone. You're being flirty, so he's trying to come back with your low bar that you have set. So mm-hmm. I don't think she's wrong for setting the low bar. She wants to hook up. Good for her. You can wa- you you can't have both. You can't get mad at the low bar that they won't go over because no matter where you set a bar, you're going to find a guy who won't get over it. If it's a high bar, if it's a low bar, but you're in low bar waters, so you have to expect low bar responses and shitty stress and whatever they're writing to you because these are the waters you swim in. So, Mm -hmm. and again, she can't, I don't want to sound, I hope I don't sound like I'm like 
being mean to her because I don't I, I think I understand where the frustration comes from, mm-hmm. but she has set herself up for this frustration. I think I twenty four, I don't know what to tell you. That's like yes. it's I have a fuck boy, not fuck boy, a fuck buddy, we'll call him, and he's forty. Sure. And it's much, much, it's respectful and we are very open and we, we know what we're doing. And it's very like we plan things. We're being safe yeah. with COVID. Like everything is like we both got tag. Everything is like very organized and nice. And it's like, yeah, I haven't had that with anyone younger. I mean, not yeah, nice, but like, you know, what I mean, like I haven't. It's, that doesn't happen with younger guys. Younger guys. Are stupid. But that that's the thing when you get older and you deal with older people, you go, here's what I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. Can you do it or can you not? Yeah, exactly. Because I think I think older people also don't want to deal with like the stress of wasting someone's life away because yes. they they understand you just know time at a certain age time mm-hmm. is more real to you don't forget to like the video you just watched i have many more subscribe to the channel right now like and subscribe like and subscribe like and subscribe you fool there's even a bell you can click to now you got your week set Monday through Friday. I'm here for you.